The nice things about Mythic is that it has this friendly web UI interface that allows multiple operators to collaborate and use an operation together. So how does that work? Right now, we only have one operator, the Mythic admin default operator. So let's go through the process of how you would add another operator, add them to your operation, and be able to have them task and use the operation along with you. So we'll see here, um, we are logged in as Mythic admin. Uh, and we are in this operation chimera. So if we look here in global configurations, all operations, we can see all the operations that are ongoing or completed that we're able to see. The mythic admin account is a global administrator. And so you can see all operations. If you're just a normal operator, you can only see the operations that you've been added to. So we can see here, you know, the Operation Chimera operation only has the Mythic Admin member and Mythic Admin is the operational lead. The lead of an operation has a few more permissions than the other operators, and we'll get into that later on. But we can see a couple of different things here. We can see the name, the lead, all the members. We can see that this is our current operation. If we modify it, we can change the name of the operation if we want. We can change who the operation lead is. We can add in a Slack webhook and get notifications into Slack anytime a new agent checks in. We can mark this operation as complete, and then you'll start getting warnings if there's still callbacks checking in from that operation. And we can also see here, we have the Mythic Admin is a user in the operation. Uh, here, Toggle, they are in the operation, and what kind of view mode they have into it. Are they a spectator? Are they a developer? Are they an operator? That sort of information. So let's go ahead and open up a new window and we will create a new account. So uh, we'll go back to the same uh, standard login page, but we wanna create an account. So we'll instead click register and we'll go ahead and create a new user. So this will be Alice. All right, so Alice registered and you can see here already, no operation selected, not part of an operation. All right, we just created this user. So if we click up here on this not part of an operation, we get brought to this operations management page. And you can see here again, no operations exist. This user is not a global admin, and this user is not part of any operations. If you're curious about that as well, you can go over here, click the name and click settings. And you can see, are they an admin? False, nope, when did they create their account, last login, all sorts of information that's handy for the account. But the part we're interested in is their operational status. So again, they're not part of an operation. Let's go ahead and go back to our uh, global admin account. Here we are, Mythic Admin. Now that the user has been created, Alice exists, we can click here with the modify operation. And now there's this another Alice operator as an optional operator to add into the operation. So we'll go ahead and click this toggle it to add to the operation. We can leave her as a, an operator, that's fine. Notice Mythic Admin is still the lead, nothing else changed. All we did is add Alice. So we'll click Submit, added. Mythic Admin added Alice to the operation as an operator, perfect. Now you can see here, members, Mythic Admin and Alice. If we go back to Alice, you can see here, not part of an operation, if we re refresh the page, we can now see that she only has one operation, so that's her current operation, is a member with Mythic Admin. Because Alice is not the operational lead, they do not have the permission to modify or add block lists or do any of that sort of information. But they are part of Operation Chimera. So just like Mythic Admin, they can come here, look at active callbacks, and now they can see all this information, they can see the different tasking that's happening, they can do all of that. And just like every other operator, they have browser scripts that are here. And you can see here, Alice does not have that modified browser script that uh, Mythic Admin is using.